Uh, what does this all mean now for Arizona politics? That's right. Political editor Dennis Welch uh, joining us now in the studio. Dennis, of course, this is politics. Yeah. So what does this mean now for the Senate race here? Well, obviously what it means is that Kelly Ward is not going to get a free ride to this nomination. So there are a number of na big names out there that people are talking about as someone who could challenge her. I want to kind of show you just a few of them here and break some of them down and who they are. Now, one of them is Jay Hyler. Probably not a household name out there, but he is a member of the Arizona Board of Regents. Now, he's a throwback to the old Symington at administration. Now, if he jumps into this race, he'll likely have the support of someone like a Governor Jan Brewer. And what does that mean? Does that mean that he could get the, uh, the, the, the endorsement of Donald Trump? Well, that could be because, Don, you know, Brewer and Trump really tight. Uh, Trump endorsement in a race like this could be big. But the big name to watch tonight, Martha McSally. She's the congresswoman from down in Tucson. She's shown that she can raise a lot of money. She showed that she can win tough uh, contested general election races out there. And she's also got a great track record. She's got a great back history as a military, uh, who's flying fighter jets, you know, in Iraq and whatnot. She's someone I think people in Republican circles are looking at and pressuring her to jump into this. And then finally, I think Congressman David Schweikert out there. Um, he's from Ten he's from the Tempe Scottsdale area. Um, he has shown that he can raise a little bit of money. Um, he's very rock solid, conservative type person, very, very solid person. That should be a little bit of pressure for him to get into. But again, tonight, I I think the big name to watch right now is Martha McSally. All right. Tax reform. <laughs> All right. Tax reform is something that usually unites the Republican Party. Yeah. Over the next 14 months, however, mm -hmm. what is Senator Flake's position going to be against Donald Trump? Well, l let's look at this. I mean, you, you've already seen that Senator Bob Corker from Tennessee, another Republican critic of Donald Trump, who has said that he is not interested in running for re-election right now. Now, he has said he's not, he is a vote no on this tax reform. Now. Jeff Flake has not said yes or no, but you can read the tea leaves and they're pretty easy to read at this point. Jeff Flake's, one of his top priorities is reducing deficit spending. Now, there was a recent report put out by a nonpartisan group that shows that the tax reform that Donald Trump is proposing right now would add about $2.2 trillion over the next year to, to the deficit while reducing government government expense, uh, revenue by $5.5 trillion. I don't see any way that Jeff Flake votes for this right now, given the fact that any enticements they could have thrown at him to vote for this package, and out the window today when he said yep. he was not running for re-election. Yeah, a, a lot of changes ahead. Lastly, yeah. uh, the loss of Flake. What does it mean to our state? Well, and, and this is a big one. I think it's a little bit more nuanced because definitely guaranteed January 2019, we will have a new senator in, right. in, in place. <laughs> Now, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but uh, Senator John McCain is fighting a pretty aggressive form of cancer, so his future is uncertain. If we were to have two new senators in Arizona sitting down there, we would lose a big voice here in Arizona because right now Senator John McCain, he has done a lot from his position on his committees like the Armed Services Committee in protecting military bases and funding that comes yeah. there. And Jeff Flake, he sits on the, uh, on the Natural Resources Committee in the, Sen in the Senate. That's something really big for Arizona as a place that fights wildfires and is going to have a major you know, water issues yeah. moving forward. You just wonder where's the middle you know is there no more middle ground in politics is there only the far right is there only the far left whatever happened to, to moderates in both parties whatever Perhaps happened to the compromise i mean I politics know, used to be the art of the possible and now it's a zero-sum game yeah it's it's yeah. going to be fascinating to see what transpires over the next few months it's yeah. always going to be yeah. good to have you here